she was like, that's not Jamie. And I'm crazy, so I was like, yeah, I was like talking to her inside my mind. I was like, no, Jamie's dead. Like, it's just, it's just Vecna. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're discussing where we know Jamie Campbell Bower from. The past doesn't matter. Define yourself in the present, and you might rule in the future. For this video, we'll be looking at the British actor slash musician slash model's career leading up to his villainous role as Vecna on season four of Stranger Things. What's your favorite Jamie Campbell Bower role? Let us know in the comments. Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street London-born Jamie Campbell Bower spent his younger years as a member of the National Youth Music Theatre and the National Youth Theatre. When he was in his late teens, he made his big-screen debut in Tim Burton's Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, starring alongside Johnny Depp and Alan Rickman. I have sailed the world, beheld its wonders, from the Dardanelles to the mountains of Peru. But there's no place like London. Bauer showed off both his vocal and acting talents as Anthony Hope, the young sailor who lets the titular Todd board his ship to London. Anthony sees the beautiful Joanna sitting in a window and instantly falls in love. I was half convinced I'd waken, satisfied enough to dream you. Happily I was mistaken, Joanna. He vows to free her so they can be together, which proves difficult as she's the ward of the evil Judge Turpin. Joanna, elope with you. I'll make sure that neither you nor any other man shall ever set eyes on her again. Early film and television roles. Bauer continued acting and making music, including the one-hour dramedy on the BBC The Dinner Party. He also had a brief but memorable part as rocker in Guy Ritchie's Rock and Rolla. You are the manager. I'm the rocker. You got on the hat, well, why don't you just pull something out of it? In the Dutch war film Winter in Wartime, Bauer starred as a British airman who crashes in Nazi-occupied Netherlands. But it was his work in the 2009 remake of the 1960s British series The Prisoner, where more people took notice of his rising talent. How did we get to this place? It's a good place though, isn't it? Safe place. Safe. The young actor got to play the brooding son of Sir Ian McKellen's two. Bauer rose to the occasion of the emotionally charged role, brilliantly leading one of the show's most intense storylines. We're going to have to dig those secrets out of him, and then we will know what we're dealing with. The Twilight Saga Jamie Campbell Bauer has admitted his desire to play Edward Cullen in Twilight. Of course, the role went to fellow Brit Robert Pattinson. However, Bauer still found himself in the franchise, making his first appearance as Caius Volturi in the 2009 sequel New Moon. Join us. We would be delighted to utilize your skills. Caius is one third of the ancient leaders of the Volturi, a character described as the most ruthless of the vampiric coven. Though he doesn't possess psychic powers, the quiet and cunning vampire is still an intimidating presence, known for his draconian methods of punishment. So, what do we do with you now? You already know what you're going to do, Aro. She knows too much. She's a liability. Caius and the Volturi returned in Breaking Dawn Part 1 for a post credit scene. And in Part 2, they traveled to Forks, ready to kill Bella and Edward's child, Renezme. These children are much like us. Regardless, the Cullens have been consorting with werewolves, our natural enemies. Magical Worlds In 2010, Bauer traded in his fangs for a wand and joined the Wizarding World for the first Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows installment. A special. Uh, who's this man? The actor had a blink and you'll miss it appearance as a young Gellert Grindelwald. We catch glimpses of him in photos, and one scene when he's leaping out a window after stealing the Elder Wand from Grigorovich. It's very little screen time, but with a reputation almost as infamous as Voldemort's, seeing the Dark Wizard still makes an impact. I knew you would come one day. Bauer then appeared in the iconic role of King Arthur in the short-lived series Camelot. This dark take on the classic tale follows Arthur as he becomes king, when he was just a teenage commoner thrown into an unknown world. I never knew Uther, but if he inspired such loyalty, I am humbled to stand before you and 
I'll do whatever I can to justify your allegiance. There is, of course, the love story between Arthur and Guinevere, but the series features plenty of bloodshed and impressive fight scenes, many of which Bauer did himself. His performance as the young, impulsive charmer made this an Arthurian legend for the modern ages, and proved he's worthy of leading man status. I know I carry your hope in me, and I will establish here at Camelot a new way of ruling for you, the people! Yeah! The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. Jamie Campbell Bower joined his third YA fantasy franchise, starring as Jace, the half-human, half-angel shadow hunter in 2013's The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. You're a killer. A cold-blooded killer. As opposed to a peace-loving killer. I know what I saw. You think you know. Based on Cassandra Clare's best-selling book series, the story follows Clary Frey as she discovers her true heritage and comes across a slew of supernatural creatures while trying to save her mother's life. Bowers Jace is there to help her, and naturally, the two end up falling in love. We were just kissing. How swiftly you dismiss our love. The skilled demon slayer is moody and sarcastic, which stems from his complicated past. Like in Camelot, Bauer underwent extensive training and did the majority of his own stunt work. The film grew Bauer's following, but unfortunately it didn't do too well at the box office. The planned sequel based on City of Ashes was scrapped, and the franchise moved to the small screen with a new cast. Unfortunately, my one true love remains myself. Well, at least you don't have to worry about rejection. Not necessarily. I turn myself down occasionally just to keep it interesting. Music, theater, and rock star playwrights. With a music manager mother and a father who worked for Gibson Guitars, it's no surprise that Bauer is a gifted musician. After being in the Darling Buds, Bauer was the lead vocalist and guitarist for the British punk rock band Counterfeit from 2015 until the band called it quits in November 2020. He has since put out solo tracks. Also in 2015, he tapped into his musical theater background and joined the West End production of Bend It Like Beckham the Musical as Joe. Break the boundaries on the road to success, a touch of obsession is key. In 2017, he stepped into the role of Elizabethan playwright Christopher Kit Marlowe in the drama series Will, about the fictional life of a young William Shakespeare. Marlowe is devilishly charming, seductive, and knows how to command a stage, much like Bauer himself. Dost thou desire money, power, greatness? Oh, speak, coward, speak! In their tension-filled scenes, Marlowe pushes Will to be as indulgent and daring as he is. Sadly, the captivating series only had one season. The man is dead because of you. Only one. That must be more prolific. Wizards and Westeros. Eight years after Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Bauer reprised his role as a young Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald. He got a little more screen time this go around, but we can't help but wonder how incredible he'd be in a longer scene with actual dialogue. In 2019, it was announced that one of the many Game of Thrones prequels began filming, and though details on his character were never released, our own Jamie Campbell Bower was actually a part of the ensemble cast led by Naomi Watts. However, the untitled series was ultimately canceled after filming a very expensive pilot, and plans for that particular prequel were scrapped completely. That's the nature of the entertainment industry, I think. It's, it's always been something that I've said, is, is nothing's real until it's real. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Stranger Things and Beyond Despite his impressive 15-year career, some may only know Jamie Campbell Bower from his 2022 role, or roles uh, on the long-awaited fourth season of Stranger Things. Well, well. Look who finally decided to join us. Someone's a sleepyhead this morning. As the friendly, orderly Peter Ballard, Bauer is creepy yet kind to Eleven, offering her comfort after she's mistreated by her fellow lab subjects. 
In one of the many epic monologues the actor delivered, it's revealed that Peter is actually Henry Creel I and Vecna. I could make my own rules. I could restore balance to a broken world. A predator. But for good. Bauer was dedicated to preparing for the complex role, creating a mood board and everything. But that's not the only impressive feat he accomplished. It took about seven to eight hours a day for Bauer to transform into the lich-like creature. Depending on the day, we'd start anywhere between sort of 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the morning to be able to shoot for sort of like 10 a.m. ish. And then we'd shoot for 10 hours, 12 hours, and then sort of it's an hour D rig. That's right, it's really him performing underneath the heavy prosthetics. He also created the deep, growling voice for Vecna, too. Belong here with me. Uh, you're not really here. Oh, but I am Max. Fans should be excited for his next horror project, True Haunting, which is inspired by a true story. However, the big question on everyone's mind is, will Vecna return for the fifth and final season of Stranger Things? Nothing has been confirmed yet, but given the state he left Hawkins in at the end of season four, it does not look like his reign of terror is over. My lips are sealed. My <laughs> lips are sealed. You'll all have to wait and see. Um, I think Matt and Ross have got something beautiful cooking and they'll, uh, they'll let us know in good time. That's my answer. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.